All right, we made it to Dollywood today, right? Wow. Uh, oh, look, look at those cabins. I wonder where Lightning Rod is. I thought What's up, everybody? It's Avery Heaney TV. Today, I am at Great Escape. Finally, it's been about a year and a half since we went to Great Escape. This time, I'm with Will today. Yes. So, he hasn't went here since 12 years. Nine years. Oh, oh nine years. I thought it was 12. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. I bet you're excited to be back here yeah, after yeah. a long time. I, I still got to get on comic because I didn't ride it last time I went. Hopefully Alpine's open too. Yeah, I hope Alpine's open too, but you know, the the operations are just so bad on it. Yeah. But high hopes for it. It should be a nice day out. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. All right, so we just made it to Gray Escape, and currently right now, Alpine bobsleds is closed. But that's no surprise though. This ride always breaks down, has so many mechanical issues, and uh, just uh, the operations are just god awful. But other than that, it's a pretty good attraction. I used to really hate on it. The brakes are very noticeable and very painful. Maybe it'll open later, or most likely not. All right, our first ride of the 2021 season at Great Escape, Comet. This is gonna oh, yes. be Will's first ever time on the Comet. Yes. He's never been on it before. I've had a 205. Man, those laterals, I can't wait for that thing again. And right now the line is non-existence. Ha <laughs> ha, this is sick. All right, we just did our first ride on the Comet for the 2021 season. We were in the last seat on the red train. How was your first ride, Will? That was good, I liked it. So much fun, wasn't it? Oh well, yeah. What did you think of the laterals on that thing? Laterals were uh, pretty strong. I mean, um, they're, they're not the strongest, but they were still very strong at the same gotcha. time. Gotcha. Oh, there are the photos. We have Sam and Sky today and some more enthusiasts out here. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Welcome to Gray Escape. This is my closest home park. So uh, is this your first time at Gray Escape? Yeah. Second for us. Oh, second for you. Yeah. First time for you? Yeah. I recommend the Comet. It's a good PTC. That's where, that's where we're headed. Well, um, the downside of the Comet is the restraints can slam down mid course towards the ride, but other than that, it's really good. I think it's kind of a PTC, but other than that, it's good. Yeah, uh, Will really loves the Comet. We're about to head to yeah. Flashback right now. Great seeing you all. First drop tower of the season, Sasquatch, the SNS drop tower, and the drop site is still closed to this day. I think it was closed all of 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Man, they gotta do something about that side. All right, the next attraction, Canyon Blaster. Now, I think they updated the logo actually for the entrance. I noticed that it has more color now, so that's really cool. This is still a bit faded. Uh, Will is in line, so we're about to go on. Right now, here are the seats for Condor right now, because right now, Steven Demon and Condor are closed for Adirondack Outlaw Construction. Yeah. So, I don't really see too much progress other than the fact that they updated the saloon. But if I had to predict, I do not see Adirondack Outlaw opening until 2022. That's going to be my guess, and I think it will turn out that Condor and Steam Demon could be closed for the season. Not entirely sure, but uh, that's just my prediction. What do you think, Will? Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like it'll be open in around 2022. That's my best guess. That's what I'm thinking too. I mean, after all, they had to delay Catwoman at St. Louis for 2022, so I feel like that that's going to be the outcome, in my opinion. Yeah. All right, we just got off Canyon Blaster, the aerodynamics mine train ride. How was your ride, Will? Yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> it is? Well, I mean, it's not bad, but it's okay. Easier. I'm not gonna lie. This time on Candy Blaster, um, yes, it is rough, but I actually didn't find it to be like a painful experience. I was actually quite surprised. I all is just pretty jerky. I don't know why this ride gets so much hate. What's up, bro? Out sitting with the old dude. What's up, bro? Moby Dick. Of course you all know Moby Dick, a most precious whale. Who bit good Captain Ahab's leg and made many a men turn pale? There's Moby Dick. Well, 
Will is being eaten alive by Moby Dick. I bet Moby Dick thinks he's delicious. All right, today, the moment you've been waiting for, guys, I bet you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. I'm doing a food review today at Great Escape. This is at the chicken, uh, no, not the chicken, uh, the market skillet. That's where it's at. They have Philly cheesesteaks there. They have uh, sausage sandwiches, chicken fajitas. Um, Will right now is uh, having a Philly cheesesteak, and how is it? Good. It is good? Yeah. Nice. All right, so I'm going to try their Philly cheesesteak. It is messy as hell because of the cheese whiz, of course, but... Oh, it's really, oh my God. I'm probably gonna need a fork now. This is like falling apart. So, picking up my sandwich was a big fail, so now I have to use a fork. But here we go. Philly cheesesteak at Great Escape. 2021 season. You know what? This is not bad at all. For Six Flags standards, they actually make a good Philly cheesesteak at Grey Escape. Especially at that place. Marketplace Skillet, whatever it's called. Wow. Not really a fan of Cheese Whiz on my Philly cheesesteaks. I'm more of like a Swiss guy or a provolone guy. Don't like American cheese or cream cheese or that kind of stuff, but like, um, the cheese was, in my opinion, was, uh, you know, it's not great from Philly cheesesteaks, but with Six Flags, it's actually not bad. And to answer Will's question, I do like cheddar cheese. Cheddar is good, too. Scale rating of the 0 to 5 scale, I'm going to rate this a solid 4 out of 5. Grayscape has good food, in my opinion, for Six Flags standards. We're about to do flying trapeze now, and Will, have you ever been on flying trapeze before? No. Oh, this is your first time. Yeah. It's definitely showing its age, but I think they should put a fun time star flyer there, a skyscraper. That'd be a really good spot. All right, we just got off flying trapeze. How was your ride, Will, for your first time on flying trapeze? Uh, it was very soothing, very relaxing. Very relaxing. It is, it is a lot of fun to ride if you just want to take a break, but just in my opinion, like I've said in many of my vlogs at Grey Escape, I just really think they need to put a a fun time star flyer at the park because I feel like a skyscraper would be a perfect spot for Grey Escape. And I feel like Grey Escape really needs a skyscraper. Who knows? Maybe even the world's tallest. That'd be sick for Grey Escape, but I doubt that would happen. But if they were ever to do a skyscraper, I'd be fine with any skyscraper. Just make a skyscraper for Grey Escape. It really needs one. about to do flashback now and apparently still to this day they still have the old announcement that says welcome, welcome to the boom to the boomerang right there for your own safety please remain seated while keeping your arms hands and legs inside the train at all times it's flashback not boomerang so yet again even though it's called flashback they still have the old exit sign for boomerang coast to coaster because this is an actual boomerang it looks like a red banana. Actually, it literally is a red banana. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I've never tried red bananas before. All right, so Will and I just got off flashback, and how was your ride? All I can say is one word. Doozy. <laughs> Doozy? What does that mean? It means very intense and whiplashing, but very good. I have to tell you, when I just got off flashback, I was actually blown away with it this time. I've actually grayed out in the vertical loop. No joke. This was intense. I didn't expect it to be that intense. Like, what's up? Is this like the most intense Vekoa boomerang or something? I grayed out in the vertical loop. All right, we're about to do Cannonball Express now. Now, you've never been on this yet, Will? Not yet. You've been on this at other amusement parks, though. Like, have you ever been on the one at Casino Pier in New Jersey? No, I have not. I have, back a long time ago. Uh, I believe the one in New Jersey goes backwards. This actually used to go backwards, but I don't think it goes backwards anymore. For some odd reason. But uh, this is Cannibal Express. 
very unique these days because I don't think any other six bike park other than Great Escape has it. Though I could be 100% wrong. All right, everybody, we just got off Cannonball Express. How is your ride, Will? It has strong laterals there. It really does have strong laterals, yeah, to be honest. Does. This is a flat ride, and uh, I believe this is the only Six Flags park in the chain that has these kind of rides. And uh, they have them at like fairs, carnivals. They also have them uh, at other amusement parks. When I was a kid, they had one at Adventureland Long Island. I believe they still have it to this day. I don't remember, but I remember they had a Cannibal Express at Adventureland. But I think it was called the Music Express when I was there back in the years of 2000 or 2001 all the way to 2005. And that was the last time I was ever at Adventureland. It was 2005. And I did ride this too in 2005 at Adventureland. But this is a very good uh, area for that ride because uh, you know, many Six Flags parks just don't have that in all the chains, and I believe this might be the only one. Maybe Darien Lake has one too, I could be wrong, but... All right, everybody, before I went to Cannonball Express, I went to the membership uh, building right by where Flashback is, and uh, it's apparently different for their uh, Domino Elites. They actually have some certain, certain pass where you get like four rides? per visitor or something like that, or it's three. It's, it's strange how they do it at Great Escape because at New England, uh, you just get uh, the regular skip the line passes. Now we are doing the indoor scrambler, the lizard. I can't wait to ride. Are you excited to ride? Yes. We are about to ride Blizzard, the indoor scrambler. I am so excited. Are you ready, Will? I yeah. get to ride Blizzard, and the indoor scrambler at Great Escape. I can't wait. All right, so we just got off Blizzard, and man, was that awesome or what? How was that, Will? This thing slaps. It's my favorite ride in the park, actually. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, it's his... Uh, he, it was his first time ever doing an indoor scrambler, so uh, I've been on Blizzard a few times, and I gotta tell you, this time it was a lot more fun than I remember. I just, I just miss Great Escape. I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, this is good. Hey there. Just did one ride on the Comet now. How was that ride, Will? That was good. That's We're about to do another ride on the Comet. Uh, this is gonna be our number six ride now. Oh, hey, how was the ride on Comet for the last Woo! ride of the day? Heck yeah. They actually got the last train. We actually got second to last. Yeah, but, yeah, second uh, to last. Sky, how's Comet? It's pretty good. I mean, I didn't get the ride in the front this time, so like, I didn't get the full experience because I remember it being a lot better in 2019, but like, it's still a good ride. Oh, it's great. Uh, it's a PTC. And it's, in my opinion, it's underrated because uh, a lot of people don't talk about that ride very much. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, it's... and they give so much hate on my home park. Yeah, it's pretty like out here, you know, not a lot of people get. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's great seeing you again. Yeah. Thanks for visiting my home park, yeah. other than Six Flags of England, too. Mm -hmm. That's also my home park. Great to see you all. Bye. All right. Well, we had a fun day at the park, and how was Comet for you? Great ride. We went on seven rides in total today. Yeah. And uh, for crowds overall, it was pretty packed, but like not like the worst as I anticipated it would be. I thought it was going to be more than that. Oh, yeah. Comet, uh, we didn't even have to wait in line for Comet at all today. We basically lucked out on Comet. But uh, flashback, we waited about half an hour wait, and Candy Blaster was like, 45 minutes to 50 minutes not like worth not worth it no. it was like not worth the wait i mean it wasn't painful for me but uh just not worth the wait it's like it's and it's one train ops too i really wish they had two trains so at the gray escape on our way out we go right by a merchandise shop so uh we can buy a lot of merch here look at that they got Lake George sweatshirts of the Great Escape. We're right by Lake George. Lots of Great Escape shirts. Got sweatshirts too. Now we gotta find a Comet t-shirt or something. 
I really like the merchandise they have. I see we got Six Flags Gray Escape with the bear on it. There are a lot of bears in the Adirondack Mountains, that's for sure. There are shot glasses of uh, Gray Escape. That's really cool. Another shot glass of Gray Escape. Another shot glass with uh, with a bear on it. Six Flags water bottles. Storytown USA poster. That's really cool. I have not seen any common t-shirts today, but I did uh, happen to see a lot of Gray Escape t-shirts. So many of them. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any today, but definitely next time when I come to the park, I definitely might wanna get something for sure. Steven Demon and Condor were closed today due to Adirondack Outlaw construction, but uh, it's pretty cool to see Steven Demon standing to this day right now while it's not operating. But uh, despite I'm not a fan of this Aero Looper, it has a small place in my heart because it was my very first looping coaster the month and year marks of May 2006. That was when I first ever rode Steam and Demon. Well, Grayscape has come to an end today, and Will, how is your first time after nine years? Approved. I bet. It was so awesome. It was. So, um, Kama was good. Flashback was really good, despite the fact that I, like, actually grayed out in the vertical loop. Like, that's something. Yeah. Um... Hopefully I can head out there sometime soon, and uh, hopefully Adirondack Outlaw can open this year, but if not, definitely 2022, because that's when I predict it's actually going to open from the progress I've seen from today. Um, and that Catwoman's Whip is also not going to be open until 2022, so that's going to be my uh, guess as well. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe below, and as always, peace out. Like and subscribe and press the notification button. Thank <laughs> you.